Assalamu alaikum YouTube, uh, Ali here again. Uh, um, first off, I'd like to apologize uh, for letting my emotions get the best of me. Um, basically, I, I'm a you know firm believer in Islam and uh, my Quran. And whenever I feel someone is taking my book out of uh, you know um, to say things that it's not uh, saying, uh, say that very that upsets me. Be the Muslim, Christian, or whoever. Um, that really uh, ticks me off, and you know. Uh, my sister's a first-hand witness to that. Uh, you know, even uh, she had uh, quoted me some things from the Quran where it was saying to to her that uh, you know we shouldn't be friend Christians or Jews, and basically me and her to fight because of her taking things out of context to uh, convince me that. So I get really pissed off about people uh, um, taking my Quran and um, misquoting it. Uh, so as you can tell, uh, you know, um, from the like I said, from the four translations that I have, the Piktal, the uh, Yusuf Ali, the um, uh, the other two that I have, um, the translation that Jay used was not there. So for you know Jay, first of all, I have to apologize for that. You know, I mean, I'm I'm not I mean, you know, I'm still I still don't agree uh, with your with that translation. But um, let's uh, let's uh, you know assume that that's uh, correct. And um, I made some notes on on uh, the the topic of crucifixion. I, I kind of did uh, some some searching around and uh, looking at some uh, you know uh, uh, things on you know here and there um, from a software that I have. And uh, basically, you know, uh, first thing first is that I'm going to use my the Quran as the truth, and I'll use the Bible to prove uh, what the Quran says is true. Okay, um, you know, just uh, just. Basically, what that is, okay. Uh, as a part of the translation, and I, I had to put everything in notes, otherwise I'll just, you know, get off track and pissed off or something else. <laughs> All right. So, as part of the translation in uh, four, uh, chapter four, verse uh, one fifty-seven, it says, "They did not kill him." Now, there's three ways to interpret that. Uh, the first way to interpret that, if they, if if I, you know, highlight they did not kill him, it would say that it would mean that someone else killed him, okay. If I say they did not kill him, I mean something to the effect that they basically tortured him, but they didn't kill him. And if I said they did not kill him, they basically mean that they, they killed someone else, right? So um, if you you know uh, if you read the the the, the three uh, phrases from the Quran and the translation, they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but it was made to appear so. Uh, when you put it together, um, you know, um, this is going to be basically what I, you know, I use for, for, you know, underlining of what I'm going to show in the Bible. It would say that it was made to appear to them that uh, they crucified Jesus and killed him. Okay. Um, now, that's basically what my thesis, so to speak. All right. So now let's go back to, to the Bible and see what the Bible says. First of all, um, while uh, Jesus was uh, waiting to get uh, arrested by the soldiers, um, he tells his disciples, you know, um, in Mark uh, fourteen forty one, sleep on now and take rest. It is e it is enough. Uh, it is enough. The hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of the sinner. And I highlight the word is betrayed. Okay. And then in Matthew uh, twenty six verse two, it says, the Son of Man is betrayed. Betrayed to be crucified, and I highlight the uh, betrayed to be crucified there. Okay, um, Jesus uh, never said that he was going to be crucified. He only really reveals that the intention uh, for him to be crucified when he says, um, basically, in again in Matthew twenty six verse two, um, Son of Man has been betrayed to be crucified. Okay, then basically, if you go back, um, if you go to to Matthew twenty six uh, verse twenty four. Four, it says the Son of Man goes, and I highlight goes, as it is written of him. But woe unto the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed! It it had been good for for that man if he had not been born. So basically, um, what Jesus uh, is saying that uh, you know the Son of Man, the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. He goes. He doesn't say die. He goes. Okay, and then. If you, you know, again read the, the the latter part of the thing, it says the you know about the betrayer. It says that it had been it had been good for 
for that man if he had not been born. Basically, a nicer way of saying, you know, basically, I wish he was dead type of thing, right? Um, now, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, turn to John uh, 18, uh, verses uh, 3 to 6. Um, basically, uh, talking about the arrest of um, Jesus. So Judas came into the grove, uh, um, guiding the, a detachment of soldiers and some officials of the chief, chief priests and Pharisees. They were carrying torches and lanterns, and I underline that, and weapons. Okay, Jesus, knowing all that was going on, ha happened to him, went out and asked them, who, who it is you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Jesus, the, the, the traitor, was standing there with them. Okay, When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Now, why did they fall to the ground? You know, also, I mean, you have to think about it. these people, you know, carrying, you know, torches and lanterns. You know, they fall to the ground. Of course, you know, uh, the, the visible light is even, uh, you know, more messed up than ever because, you know, the torches are on the ground, the lanterns are on the ground. Okay. That's a perfect opportunity for a face change, you know. Um, and Judas was standing near to Jesus because if you remember in Matthew 26, verse 48, uh, basically, uh, he said that, you know, more or less the sign that he'll give is um, he shall kiss uh, the one that is Jesus. All right. Then if you continue, the Bible continues in Mark 14, 50, saying that they all forsake, forsook him and fled. Now, um, Christians, you know, you would accept that the, 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 what the, the forsaken person would be Jesus. Um, and again, I'm using the Quran as a, you know, as a true word of God. So if you go to chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 52 of the Quran. It says, But when Jesus uh, sensed disbelief from them, he said, Who will be my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We will be the Allah's helper. We believe in Allah and bear witness that we have surrendered unto him. Okay? So, basically, they didn't forsake Jesus. They forsook Judas. Okay? Now put yourself in Judas, Judas, uh, Judas's position, you know, um, uh, you know, who would believe that he is not Jesus, you know, because remember they, this face change happened um, in, 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 the, in, in that, uh, you know, period when they, they all fell to the floor or whatever, okay, um, you know, uh, if, you know, if he said he was not uh, Jesus, basically, they would, you know, the the, the, the the guards would basically say that, you know, this guy is just trying to, to pull a fast one on us, um, you know, just so that he wouldn't uh, uh, get crucified or whatever. So, basically, he just, you know, um, went along or whatever. Now, if you read John 18, uh, 19 to 18, 23, okay, um, basically, uh, you know, if you replace uh, Jesus with Judas in in in, in these uh, uh, you know um, what is it five verses, you you know it would make more sense than Jesus actually doing this. And here's you know basically I'm reading it as it is written in in, in the Bible. The high priest therefore asked Jesus of uh, of his disciples and his teachings. Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world and always taught in the synagogues and in the temples where the Jews always met. And in secret, I have said nothing. Why ask you me? Why ask you me? Ask them which which heard me. What I have said unto them, behold, they know what I what I said. And when he said, when he had thus spoken, one of the officers had stood by, struck Jesus on the in the palm of the, of his hand. And in parentheses, the the author has a or with a rod saying, Answer you the, the, the high priest so? Jesus answered him, If I had spoken evil, bear witness of evil, but if well, why why uh, spite, smite you me? In now basically is that how Jesus speaks? I mean you 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 know you look at all the other uh, you know times when he was uh, approached by uh, you know the, the 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 Jews, you know he never spoke in that manner. Basically, you know I mean 
It just doesn't make sense. And if you look at, uh, at Matthew 28, um, verses 62 and 63, it says, And the high, high priest arose and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What What is it in these... Um, it, what what is it which these witnesses against thee? But Jesus held his peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I I adjure thee by the living God that thou tellest whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you hereafter, Thou shalt see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Now, I mean, the, the, right there, it, it, you know, if, if Jesus was the Christ, then, I mean, if that was Jesus, he would have said, you know, I mean, because he, you know, according to you guys, he came on the face of the earth to die. He already knew that he was coming to be crucified for your sins. So why, was, why is he like beating around the bush? Why doesn't he just say plainly, hey, I'm the Christ? You know, and then another, another, um, a little tidbit, you know, about Peter, you know, basically after the arrest, uh, he followed uh, Judas to the priest's hall so that he can see what happens to Judas. And the priest's servant come uh, questioning Peter three times whether, you know, he's a disciple of that person. Um, and, but he, he basically de denies all three times as uh, predicted by Jesus, Peter. Uh, who was a very loyal uh, to, to Jesus, had told Jesus in Matthew 26, verse 35, Even if I must die with you, uh, if, even if I must die with you, yet will I not deny, yet will I not deny thee. Right? So, um, so basically, if, if, that, if, 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 you know, Peter is uh, such, you know, a, a loyal disciple, um, why did he deny that he was a disciple of Jesus? So basically, again, you know, from from your own Bible, you know, you can see that, uh, you know, it, I mean, and this is you know, this is not. I don't know the truth. I don't. Know, I wasn't there. Okay, but you know, you guys want an explanation as to you know who was on the cross? That's an explanation I can give to you, right? Um, you know that uh, you know from from using your own Bible and the Quran um, to, to to show you that, and, and again. I, I'm not saying that this is exactly what happened. You know, Allah knows better than than any one of us here. Um, so I'm just going to say that this is, you know, a possible theory. And with that, I conclude this. And again, I apologize for, you know, being totally like, you know, um, upset in my last video because I can say, you know, the, there are very few things that that uh, tick me off. And one of them that that really ticks me off is when, you know. In, in my opinion, someone takes my, my, my religion out of context, especially when it comes to the Quran, because there is no contradictions in my Quran. You know, you cannot find a contradiction in my Quran. Okay? I dare you to find a contradiction in my Quran that I cannot explain to you. And I'm not a scholar. Okay? With that said, um, I conclude this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.